Our next story is about Starbucks. The company has selected its next CEO. His name is Brian Nicole. The 50-year-old will take charge on September 9th. But there's a catch. Nicole is based out of California in the coastal city of Newport Beach. He has a nice house amid the sun and surf. But Starbucks is headquartered in Seattle, far up the U.S. West Coast in the cloudy Pacific Northwest. Now, would you want to trade sunshine and warmth for overcast and bleak? Probably not. And it seems Nicole did not want that either. So Starbucks made him an offer he could not refuse. Starting next month, Nicole will be a hybrid CEO living in California, but flying to Seattle at least, at least thrice a week on the company's private jet, of course. It's been called a super commute. The term cheerfully masks the reality, which is that Starbucks is willing to torch the environment just to accommodate their new CEO. Here's our report. Like most companies these days, Starbucks wants to be seen as environmentally conscious. It's been working on this image for a while now. In 2018, it said it would stop giving out single-use plastic straws. The deadline was 2020. Last November, the company's board created a new committee an Environmental Partner and Community Impact Board Committee. And guess who might be on this board? The new Starbucks CEO, Brian Nichol. The man who just worked out an amazing deal. When he takes charge, Starbucks will take care of Nichol's super commute. The company Jet will take him from Newport Beach, California to Seattle and back at least thrice a week. Yes, Nicole will not be required to relocate. Instead, he can continue to live in sunny California and travel 1,600 kilometers one way to work via private jet. Earlier this year, Starbucks started accepting reusable cups. At the time, they said, we know our customers are passionate about the planet and now they can join us in our efforts to give more than we take. So this is how Starbucks plans to give more than they take? By flying their new CEO all over the American West Coast? It's the pinnacle of corporate climate hypocrisy. With whipped cream on top. Brian Nichol is the outgoing CEO of Chipotle. It's a fast food chain serving Mexican food. Nichol turned their fortunes around after taking charge in 2018. Chipotle stocks rose by 773% during his time there. So, Nicole has a proven track record. And stock prices beat environmental concerns every single time. Starbucks isn't alone when it comes to this. Greenwashing is a common phenomenon. Companies pretend to be more climate-friendly than they really are, to appeal to environmentally conscious customers. But they'll keep polluting the environment while coming up with fun new activities for the rest of us. It's a customer's job to use reusable straws, to recycle plastic bottles, to bring cloth bags to the grocery store. But companies and their top bosses are above all this. Look at this report from last year. It says that the richest 1% of society emits as much as the poorest 66%. The top 1% of the human race pollutes as much as the poorest two-thirds. Luxury yachts, fancy cars, and of course, private jets. All of these things hurt the environment. And they are only used by the privileged few. The super CEOs on their super commutes. And what about the rest of us? Well, we're stuck cleaning up their mess. One reusable straw at a time. Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished.
Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree. A News 18 Network initiative. On the fifth day, the T20 World Cup run by the US moved across to the West Indies more than we expected. Hello, I'm Alice Green, coming to you from Durban, South Africa. Today we have a special show. Start with a report on India's specific nuclear process. Hello and welcome to First Coast America. I'm Eric Ham, coming to you live from the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. 